Did it start? Oh, I see. Yeah, it did. Hi everybody, how are you doing? Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of an ad, so it'll take me some time to see myself. Everybody's watching an ad right now, probably. Okay, I think I'm here and I'm live. Um, um, okay, so can everybody see me and hear me okay? Good afternoon. Where is everybody from? I want to see who's joining us today. Can anybody see me and hear me? Can you see this beautiful Prima wall? Florida, Tennessee, Illinois, Salem, Bakersfield, Florida, Canada. Yay, we got so many people from Canada, California. Good. So can everybody hear me and see me okay? Hi, Sharon. Okay, cool. We're trying out a new system, so thank you guys for bearing with us. We're trying to, you know, make Live with Prima way better for you guys. Um, you know, I know we we had like a lot of different, cur you know, um, things going on. So we're trying to um, make it better for you guys and, um, make it clearer and make the sound better so hopefully everybody can hear me and um you know um see me okay it's a little bit clearer and um you guys can see the prima wall back here with all these beautiful layouts i know i love the lighting it's great lighting i have um awesome lighting right now um so everybody sounds good don't you love the prima wall lisa isn't it awesome i really love it yeah, it's very bright and very crisp. I really like it. All right, so I'm just going to give it a few minutes for people to log in. I think um, we still have a few minutes, so I'll just wait like a few minutes for people to log in and get started. Yeah, it's an international wall. We have artists from everywhere. Um, all these amazing layouts. I really love them. All right. Anybody else from out of the country? Any international people on today? Anybody from Europe? I don't even know what time it is in Europe right now, actually. It's probably in the afternoon. Oh, UK, Australia. Australia, 5 a.m. Oh, wow, it's 5 a.m.? That's crazy. Maybe do we have Ireland? Anybody from France? Brazil? Oh yeah, it's pretty early in Brazil right now, right? All right, so we're gonna get started um, today and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making this album here, okay? And this is the lovely Waterfall album by Lisa Gibbons. Um, this is actually part of the packaging, but this is a finished project. And, you know, this album is just amazing what you could do with it. There's so much stuff you can fit in this. I mean, just look at how massive it is. Imagine just making your, you know, um, monthly layouts in here. You could do monthly pages, weekly pages, maybe do like your favorite holidays or birthdays or anything that you like would be perfect for this album. And it's sturdy chipboard. So, it, you know, it's made out of this really sturdy material where you can... You know, if you want to do mixed media on this, it's perfect for mixed media, anything like that. And when you open it, you get all these pages. And it's called Waterfall because the pages are kind of in a waterfall format. So you see all of these pages in different sizes. So you have like the smaller size, you have larger sizes, you have photo sleeves in there. So you... Um, you get to put your favorite pictures or everybody that does, you know, Project Life, you could put your Project Life cards in there, you know, or whatever you want to do. And then you also get pockets. And all of these have um, pockets. Um, not all of them, but some of them have pockets. So, for example, like this one has a pocket here where you could store 
um, all of your photos or memories and stuff like that. Um, and then some of them have like a side pocket. So you get to put maybe like tickets in there or maybe notes. Sorry, I'm telling you it's pretty massive. Um, oh, here we go. It's on this side. Wait, oh, on this side. So it's on this side here. So the pockets are built into the album and you can cover this with your favorite paper collection. But I wanted to showcase the Lisa Gibbons collection. That's one of our new releases that I'm very excited about. So, you know, we have wishful thinking on this side and we have wishes and dreams on this side. Okay, and, and you know, you can see that the two color palettes, very beautiful color palettes, very bright and colorful, perfect for spring, perfect for, you know, um, all of your pictures that you take during, you know, the spring season, basically. Um, and then, you know, it, it accommodates every scrapper. You know, you can do basic, you know, that's why that's why it has a basic pattern. But we also have our, um, you know, normal floral patterns that we're known for um, in all of these um, papers. So this is just a little, um, Kind of peek at the collection here and like i said it's it's a very basic album you know you can do as much as you want with it you don't have to go crazy and add a bunch of stuff but you can you know you can do basic or you could do more elaborate stuff with it so that's nice to have and this is what we're going to do today and then um, i have a spine up here that i actually decorated um, with some beautiful prima flowers some are actually from our new release this um, winter show. So that's the album that we're gonna make today. And this is what it looks like actually um, before you, um, you know, work on it. So I actually covered the front page for you guys, but this is what it looks like without anything. So this is the chipboard, and then the inside pages come like with this craft material. So, um, you know, you get all these pages in here that you could decorate, paint, um, you could do, you know, multiple things on this. And then, like I said, the sleeves, the photo sleeves, the pockets. And I just went ahead and covered some here for you guys so you guys could see. But we're going to go ahead and um, work on the album. And I'll show you guys more detail on that. So um, maybe if we could um, change the camera so we could focus on the mat. All right. So we're going to start working on the album now. And what I did here is I went ahead and um, cut up all of the papers that we're going to need for the inside. And you want to make sure that you're working on the inside first, especially, you know, with me always kind of doing a lot of dimensional things on top of the cover. You know, you always want to make sure that you're um, working on the inside first and then you do the cover next. Okay, so um, here's some of the items that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the Wishful, Wishful Thinking um, and, and Wishes and Dreams collection. Okay, um, and by the way, um, the size of the album, um, let me check what size it is. I think it's 11, let me just measure it here with my mat. It's going to be, hmm, where are the measurements? Okay, it's 9 inches by 13. So it's a pretty big album, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's a perfect size for all your stuff, all your pictures and memories. And you can use all of the, all of the new Prima papers to decorate it with. Um, so let me just go over some of the materials we're going to be using. And um, you get 16 chipboard pages, by the way, 16 chipboard pages, six pocket pages, it's spiral bound, and you get two plastic um, inserts so you can put all your pictures in there, okay? Um, so these are some of the papers from the collection itself. So this is from the Wishes and Dreams um, collection, and we're going to be using these papers to cover our album and do some fun stuff. So this is the Wishes and Dreams, and this one's called Persevere, okay? And, you know, look at the fun patterns. I really love these patterns. They're so fun and floral. Um, this one's from the Wishful Thinking. This one's called Carpet DM. And this one has all these cuttable items here. So all these tabs, all these tags, these note cards. It's really, really yeah. fun. And then you can get like the basic pattern in the back where you can do like more simple layouts or even go more elaborate if you want. And then it has these really, really nice quotes. Success begins with a dream. Love that. It's really cute. Um, this is another one from Wishes and Dreams. You know, you are my dream come true. Love this chevron. So cute. Oops. And then this fun, fun, fun geometric pattern in the back, diamond shape, so fun. So love that one too. And then we have this one here, this is called Valiant, and this one has this pretty purple pattern. And then Don't Be Afraid to Dream up here on top. And I really, really love this diamond shape. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a really nice diamond shape on there. And then this back one has this chevron, 
which that says one day at the bottom. And I really love these blue polka dots here. Just really, really fun. Um, and then this is the same one I just showed you. And then this one is actually the, 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 wish, the Wishes and Dreams version of the this one. So you get all the tabs, you get all the ATC cards, you get the tags, um, you get all that. So those are some of the papers we're going to be using. And this is not the entire collection, by the way. I'm just showing you a sampling of the collection because we're going to have Miss Lisa Gibbons on Thursday show you everything in the collection. So we'll talk about that later. And um, this is some of the chipboard. So we have the Wishful Thinking chipboard. And look at all these fun shapes. You get some banners. You get some zigzag stripes. You get some hexagons, some tabs, some flowers. And these are self-adhesive, um, heavyweight chipboard. So they're very sturdy and they're very nice to add accents to all of your projects. Um, and then this is the one from Wishes and Dreams. And like I said, these are all coordinating with the collection. They're perfect for, you know, each collection. Um, I love this one personally. I love how the teal, the browns just go very well together. So it's perfect for that. So we're going to be using that. And then we're going to be using some of the flowers from the collection and some other flowers that are kind of my favorite. So we're going to be using these Wishes and Dreams um, roses here. And we're going to be using these. These are called um, Wishes and Dreams flowers. So these are pretty cute. I love the centers on those. They're so, so pretty. Um, we're also going to be using these, and I love these. These are Mercy um, in white. Love these. The fabric is just beautiful. And we're going to be using these in this um, pastel mix, I think it's called. Um, and I love these colors as well. They're just so perfect for spring, and they go so perfect with this collection as well. And we're going to be using these roses. These are from a past um, release. Um, these are the Interlude White. Okay. Um, the Bel Canto flowers. Love these. If you guys know me, you guys know these are my favorite flowers ever. Um, and these are in cream. Some smaller flowers, the Encore Ivory Flowers, so cute and pretty. And then some gems from the Lisa Gibbons collection. Um, and these are just the faceted gems, they're so, so, so pretty. Um, love those. So let's get started. Let's get started with the project. I'm gonna move these things. Oh, we're also gonna be using some washi tape, by the way. And I love this washi tape, it's from the Wishes and Dreams collection. Um, love this washi tape. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start on the inside first. All right, so I guess I'm gonna start on this side because this is my favorite, my favorite side of the collection. So, um, you know, like I said, you can cover this up with um, as much paper as you want. Um, you can paint it, you can do so much with it. Um, I went ahead and covered the front and I kind of left the back uncovered because I want to be able to write on this or journal or maybe even paint it if I wanted to. So what I did is I went ahead and took um, some of my favorite papers from the collection and I cut them up to size. Um, and you want to be able, you want to be sure that you, you're measuring your paper up against these, chip, this, these chipboard pieces because they're kind of different sizes than your normal size um, album. And the reason for that is so you can fit much more on it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and take our paper and then try to figure out which one's which because I kind of mixed them all up. I think this one's next. Um, yeah, there you go. And I'm going to take some Sip Dry. And I'm going to go ahead and look at this dandelion. Isn't that super cute? And it says, I wish for. I love that. And we're going to take the glue and kind of start adhering these down on the chipboard. You know what would be neat also? If you wanted to do a mixed media album, this would be perfect for that. Because the pages are so sturdy that you can actually use all these mediums, gesso, and all that stuff on here. And they don't actually, you know, hold pretty well. Hold on. Oh, wrong page, okay. It'll actually hold pretty well, so. I'm gonna hear that down, right? And then I'm gonna take this one. I think this is the right one, yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down. And all of these um, papers are coordinating with each other. You know, I actually thought that they were a bit different. 
like, you know, both collections, this um, Wishful Thinking and Wishes and Dreams. But now that I see it together in my album, I really think that they go very well together. Even though they're two different color palettes, they're very spring-like. So I think that they're perfect for each other. They're not, um, they don't look bad together. They look very, very good, actually. I really like that. So, there we go. And see how fast this is? It's not, it doesn't take any time at all. It's pretty fast. And you can decorate as much as you want. Um, I think this is the right size here. And this is the back side to that dandelion page. So, let me go ahead and add some glue on here. I love, love, love these colors. The teal, the yellow. It's so, so pretty. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Oh, we have someone from Ireland. She's joining us from Ireland. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't it great to see the Prima wall? I love it. I always come down here for inspiration whenever I feel like I have no mojo. I just come over here and look at all these beautiful layouts. Love, love, love to do that. Oh, Karen, you're so nice. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna move on to the next one. Look at this awesome diamond shape. I really love this one. Um, I think this one goes here, yeah. Okay. Lisa, I do have days without mojo. I, it's as hard as that is to believe. I do have days where I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do with all this paper? It does happen, it happens to everybody. <laughs> all right so i know there's a lot of people that are doing project life out there um you know and that's super fun to do and this maybe would be perfect to kind of do your own version or maybe do like um your own version of like a uh, a, a daily thing like you could do like a, a day of the week or i know there's people that take a lot of pictures on instagram it would be perfect to kind of document your your month maybe in one of these albums Maybe do a yearly where you can have 12 albums and kind of keep them in one spot. You know, I just love the way it, it almost looks like an encyclopedia, <laughs> if you think about it. It's just so big and nice. Imagine having these in a kind of, um, in, in somewhere stored next to each other that, that, you know, you can maybe put the date on the, on the spine. Um, that would look so awesome, I think. Balsam. Where's that? Hi. Bigger is better. Lisa, do you want to go there right now? Okay. Um, next one. Oh, look at this one. This one. Isn't this cute? I love this brown. So let's hear this one down. Yeah, the, the pages get um, bigger. Um, they start smaller and then they get bigger and then in between you have all these nice pockets and sleeves that you can do so much with. Um, hold on, I think this one's for this one. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much that you could do with this album. Just perfect for so many things. I know, right? The teal and the brown is a perfect combination. Whoever thought about that is a genius. Okay, I think this is, one. yeah, this goes here. And I'm gonna use the teal side just because we're talking about teal and I love teal. And what I like is that when, when you close all the pages down, you get peaks of all the little, all of all the page colors. So, you know, at the bottom here, I'll show you in just a second. Just here, this one down. When you close this up, see how you get all the peaks here? I really love that, that looks very cute. And look at it, it's already coming together. And it's only been, what, like 10 minutes? So, I love that. All right. And this is the pocket. So you can put all your pictures and, you know, little memorabilia in there, souvenirs. Um, let's see what's next. No, this one's not it. Sorry, I pre-cut these so you guys didn't have to watch me cut. That's kind of boring. Um, so it'll be a little bit faster. But, you know, you could take your time with this. You don't have to rush it. Like I said, it would be cool to kind of have a monthly thing going on or maybe like a document a family trip. Imagine that. That would be so cute. I would love to do that. 
if you can document a trip. Maybe you could even take it with you. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe like a trip to Europe or something and then you could just take it with you and kind of add stuff as you go. Yeah, this is the Wishes and Dreams collection. We're working on Wishes and Dreams on this side and then we're gonna do the Wishful Thinking um, collection on the other side so you guys can kind of get um, a glimpse of both, okay? So now that we have that, here's the um, picture sleeve. So you can fit all your pictures. I think it's a four by six. I love that. All right, and then I think this is what's next. I love this diamond shape. Yeah, I think I want to use that side. Oh, Marilia, you're so cute. Okay. I'm trying to cover this as soon as, as quickly as possible, sorry, because I want to get to the cover. That's my favorite part. You want to do measurement on each page? Okay, let's see. Measurement, size of that. All right. I love this pocket because it's a side pocket. Love that. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and add this one. This one's cute, I like the flowers on this one. Um, okay, and now um, I wanted to kind of go over the sizes real quick before I continue. Um, the pages are nine inches wide. So like the first one would be nine inches wide. And then all the other pages are the same width. So they're eight and a half. So only this top one is nine inches, then the rest are eight and a half. So all of them all the way down are eight and a half. And then they vary in, in, in um, tallness. So um, this one is six inches. This one is six and a half. I think they go in increments of half inches all the way down. So like the tallest one would be 11 inches. That's that's actually like an A4 size, actually, if you think about it. A4, um, you can use all of your A4 paper pads um, to cover it up. So, you you know, that would be uh, kind of awesome, actually, because sometimes I hear a lot of people tell me all the time, oh, Frank, what am I going to do with my A4 paper pad? Well, you know, that's this would be perfect for that because you can use your A4 paper pad and cover this up. Um, so that would be cool. So let me go back here and adhere this. You know what, um, I love these patterns. They're so much fun. Um, true divine hand. <laughs> um, they're so much fun, you know? And it's always cool to kind of have different patterns. It kind of makes it interesting instead of having a whole one pattern thing, you know? And this, kind, this collection really, really lends itself to that. You can actually use all these patterns and make them work together because it, it actually, you know, it actually, um, goes very well together. I mean, it's just perfect. Okay. Now, oh, oh my god, look at this polka dot. Isn't this like the polka dot dream? White, yellow, brown, teal. Scrappy heaven. Okay. I'm gonna use the polka dot side. What's in the back? Oh my god, I love the back too, but I'll use this one. Oops. Okay. I love this floral pattern too, it's so pretty. I think I have another one the same, so I'll use that. Oh, that's so pretty, I love that. I mean, it's just a basic pattern, but I think the colors are what makes it pop. You know, it just makes it so, so much, um, so, so much better. All right, and then this one, I'm gonna use this one because I really, really love the floral pattern. I love this zip dry. It actually dries very zippy-like. It's very fast drying. I love that. I hate waiting for things to dry. That's why I use hot glue, but I, I'm not gonna use hot glue on the pages because I don't want them to um, come off. Right, that looks good. 
you can decorate the back of the pages. Um, I'm not doing it now because, like I said in the beginning, like I really want to have a place to journal. So what I would do personally is I would put my picture here and then um, maybe decorate it with a, a few um, embellishments and then maybe in the back create a description of the event. You know what I mean? So if, it, if I went on vacation to France, which, oh my God, that would never happen. But anyway, <laughs> if, I, if I went on vacation to France, you know, I would put a picture here of maybe the Eiffel Tower or whatever. I would put a little bit of embellishments here um, and then maybe I would just write a description, maybe some journaling because, you know, Personally, I don't journal a lot, but I really want to start doing that, you know, because I really want to have a description of, you know, when I get old, I want to be able to go back and say, oh my God, look, this is what I did this day. And I have kind of like a record of that, you know? Um, there's someone from Japan here. Oh my God, that's cool. Welcome. Glad you guys are able to make it. Um, I'm gonna hear the last page here. Love this brown. It almost looks like a cherry blossom, I think, or... Sorry, I'm not good with plants, so... Floral thing. Yeah, I think journaling in the back is a perfect idea. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one here. I know, right, Glitter Bee? Everybody wants to go to Europe, and then... I think it's the other way around all the time as well, so. Uh, you guys have all the good stuff over there. All the pretty places to go and visit. And this is another pocket guy, so like I said, you can go ahead and put all your pictures and stuff in there. Um, I'm using Zip Dry. Um, this is, um, I don't know who makes it. Oh, Beacon, yeah, Zip Dry. Hi from Puerto Rico. My, Myra Rivera, is that, do I know her? I feel like I know her. Okay, um, now if you close this up, look at how pretty that looks. Just, just, just take a moment and look at this and look at all the pretty patterns. See how they kind of peek out of every page? I mean, isn't that awesome? I really, really love that. All right, now if we move on to this side, this is the wishful thinking side. And these are more bold colors, okay? So you can, I mean, you can do wishes and dreams on both. But I mean, I would really, really, really recommend trying this out. Because you could get two different palettes um, on one album. So wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so I already covered the first one. So let me go ahead and start covering the rest. And I think I like this, this pattern here. It's kind of hard to pick patterns because they're all so pretty. But, you know, there's enough papers in the collection that you can actually use them all. Even the back sides. Um, I love this purple palette. It's just so springy. It makes me want to go and run in the grass or something. Okay. Got that down. Uh, I know everybody needs to get one of these albums. They're just so cool. Ask your, ask your local scrapbook stores to get them for you guys. Um... You know, they're already shipping, so if you guys ask them to get them for you, they will. And I think they're available on scrapbook.com, Two Peas in a Baguette. Um, all the major retailers should have them now, but it's always good to ask your local scrapbook stores and support them. Okay. I love this one that says One Day. I think that's my favorite one. You have no scrapbook stores in Memphis? Oh my god. I love the colors, yes. Oh, Carrie, thank you for the link. Oh my god, look at this one. Look at all the little flowers and time will tell. Oh, so cute. Okay, I think this one's the next one, so I'll go here. Love, love, love this. And look at how quick this is. And then, you know, if you want to cover this up all at once, you can. And you can just work with it. It's like an ongoing project, honestly. You can put your pictures in there and all that stuff. Um, 
you know, it's just kind of like an ongoing project. You don't have to finish it all in one sitting. I think I like this one here. Oh, there's someone from Poland? How cool. Got a lot of international people, yay. All right. Hi from France. Oh my God, I wanna go there. I wanna go to France. Okay. Czech Republic. Awesome. Okay. Next page. I love all these patterns. They're so much fun. This one has like a pink, white, green, and teal in there. So that's a pretty color palette. <laughs> Karen, you're funny. And this is another pocket. And I think they're both the same, like they have the same pockets. So um, I think they're at the same um, spots. So no worries on that. I think I like this kind of this green here. Yeah, that's fun. I like that pattern a lot too, it's cute. I'm very excited for Thursday because Lisa's gonna join us here at the Prima office and she's gonna be doing um, a live with Prima show on Thursday night and she's gonna actually show you guys the entire collection of wishes and dreams and wishful thinking so that will be awesome if you guys could join us on Thursday oh my god I love this polka dot it's really cute the daisies at the bottom oh my god I love the chevron too Hard to pick. All these patterns are so pretty. Okay. Sorry, I kind of go a little bit crazy with the glue because I want to make sure that it sticks down. All right. Almost done here. And this is the plastic sleeve for the pictures. Oh, here we go. We have more chevron. I think this might be the right one. Unless it's this one. Yeah, it's probably this one. I like this diamond shape pattern too. Isn't that cute? And then this back pattern, with the teal. Nice. up here. I like this actually. This is cute. Gonna use this one on there. All right. Here, here. I love how these colors just complement each other. Add a little bit more adhesive here. I know, right? It's really just really fast. Um, it doesn't take any time at all um, to finish it. I love this one. This one says, success begins with a dream. And that's really the message behind this collection, guys. It's really all about wishes and dreams and making your wishes come true and your goals and your ideals and all the things that you wish for can come true, you know? Um, write all your, maybe even for your kids. It's good to have um, your kids involved in all this. This is a perfect collection too for that. You know, you can write maybe the successes of your kids or if your kids are in sports and you know, they play sports, maybe, you know, have, you know, I don't know anything about sports, so I'm really just talking out of my 
you know, not knowing anything. But anyway, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Um, anyway, I think this page was on the other page, sorry. This one goes here, I think. No. Well, yeah, actually it does go here. Sorry. Messed that up a bit. Glad it didn't dry on me. Yeah, don't kids have goals? I mean, don't they aspire to do something? I, I would think so. Maybe they aspire to play video games? I don't know. Sorry, I'm old now. Oh my god, I feel so old. Okay. Yeah, see, doing it with your kid, I think, is perfect. I think that um, you can, you know, you, you don't even have to um, talk about sports. You could talk about maybe, you know, your family outings or, you know, if you go to a trip, like I said, or, you know, um, or maybe, like, if you're pregnant, you know, you could record your pregnancy on here, um, you know, maybe your, your birth and... Um, you know, maybe the child's first five years. Wouldn't that be super cute? Or your wedding. Oh my god, your wedding. Imagine putting your wedding on here. That would be so cute. Okay, last page, guys. Thank you for being so patient. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. I like that one better. Wait, not this one. I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sharon, that would be perfect for you to do an album with your um, wedding um, for your daughter. That would be so cute. Yeah, so one side is the Wishes and Dreams collection, which is this side. And then this side that we're working on right now is Wishful Thinking. So there are two different collections. All right, and then I think I'm gonna use the chevron. What do you guys think? Chevron, I think the polka dots go better. Yeah, it would be perfect actually for any trip, any outing. I mean, so many things you could do with this. It's just so versatile, you know? It's, it's more than a mini album because in mini albums you can't really fit that much stuff. So it's really just one of those albums where it's just perfect for so many things. I think the polka dots went very well, actually. Okay, so now let me show you what it looks like with both sides finished. That went pretty quick. Okay, look at this. Doesn't this look amazing? Okay. I love, love, love these, these paper lines. I mean, they're just so perfect for each other. And what I love the most, like I said, is the peeking out the peeking out of um, all the papers. You can look at all the papers here and see, you know, all of the patterns. They just go very, very well together. I just love it. Okay, so now we're gonna embellish a little bit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chipboard. And the chipboard is um, perfect for this because they're flat. I mean, you can always add dimensional stuff, but remember, there's so many pages that you might get an album that looks like this, you know, if you're like me. <laughs> but I love how the chipboard just works perfectly. Um, so let's start with the Wishes and Dreams side. And, you know, you get 45 pieces in this chipboard, heavyweight chipboard, self-adhesive, which I love. I know there's other chipboard companies that don't do self-adhesive. So I really, really love that. Um, so let me go ahead and pick something from here. So there's already a, already a saying here. So maybe I can go ahead and um, take this really pretty doily. And oh my god, I got a manicure today, so I have no nails. Um, but I will try to work with what I have. Okay, so you can stack these up too, guys. That would look so cute together. And like I said, these are self-adhesive, heavyweight chipboard. You get 45 pieces in one sheet. And I love how they come in a sheet because you can look at all the shapes. So you can pick out easier what you want to use. Okay. 
love that. And it doesn't have to be a lot. You know, you could leave space for a picture or journaling. Okay, so for that one, maybe I want to do... Hmm, so many choices. Oh, this one. Love this little cute banner. Gonna put it up in the corner here. Okay, and maybe... I'll add some little flowers. Oh, I like this flower better. Sorry, I'm very indecisive. This is what happens when I craft by myself. I spend an hour selecting a chipboard piece. Okay. So I'm gonna put this down at the corner over here. Oh my god, it's 16 degrees in London? <sighs> That's crazy. It's 60 here and I'm freezing. <laughs> um, I kind of want to put this pan this um, banner here. Because I like how the brown stands out with the white. Um, let me see. Let me go back over here. I wish for... Oh my god, look. I wish for love and life. Wouldn't that be cute? So I'll put that down here. That's cute. Love that. Okay, next. Um, maybe this one? No, no, I don't like that one. Um, I like this tag. These tags are really cute. You can write stuff on them. And they're really dimensional, so I love it. Maybe I'm going to put it on the side like this. It's cute. And may add some little flowers here. These little shapes are really cute. I'm gonna put them over here in the corner. Yeah, you could decorate this with um, flowers and chipboard and all kinds of Prima goodies, honestly. I'm gonna put this right here. And then make, um, this is the pocket one. So remember, you don't wanna put anything right on top of this because you, you're gonna block the pocket. So this is the pocket. And I like using these like as little medallions. They look really pretty, like right in the middle. Like that. That looks really cute. And then maybe, um, I don't know. I think I like it like that. Here, I wanna do this one. Make your wish come true. That's a really cute one. Oh my God. My nails are gone. Okay. Here in the corner. And then maybe some flowers on the bottom. Someone's decorating a bus? Oh my god. With Prima flowers, I hope? Okay. Like that there. A Prima bus carry. Oh my god. Imagine if we could travel on that. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay. So I'm just kind of picking out different shapes, guys, from this chipboard piece. And look at how many shapes I have in this chipboard sheet. I could actually go and use a lot on these and I'll still have enough left for other stuff. Um, like this one that says Wish. I'll put this one on there. Oh yeah, a calendar. You could do a calendar on here too. I mean, you could do something like printable. You could print the calendar and just kind of adhere them on here. All right, and here I want to do um, maybe this big flower piece. I like this one, this one's nice. I like the big chip chipboard shapes. Love how that looks there. And then we're getting to the end here. I like this zigzag shape. It's kind of big, so maybe we might have to cut off a little bit from the edge. Right down here. I'm gonna cut off a little bit from the edge. A baby book, an anniversary album. Those are great ideas. Love those ideas. Recipe book. A recipe book. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I love all those. Okay. Alright, we're going to 
gonna put this tag up here. Then on the last one, I wanna do this one, the one that says my inspiration. I really love that one. Maybe I'll put a picture of Prima Flowers. That's my inspiration. And then I like this yellow one here. Here, and then maybe I'll put a brown one on top of it. Right here, like that. And then once you close it, you know, it still closes down perfectly. So, you know, it'll still close, it'll still um, keep its um, closure, so it should be fine. And then we have the um, wishful thinking um, chipboard pieces, and these are these are really fun. I like the colors and everything on these. Um, these these are really fun. So I'm just gonna add a few of these, just to kind of give you an idea of what it will look like. And then we'll go over on the cover. Um, just gonna do some banners up here. These banners are so cute. I really love these banners. Or flags. I think they're called flags. Or they look like flags and banners. All right, this is cute. Maybe in these flowers in this one, so we can make it stand out. Like I said, you can do um, as much or as little as you want. I just like combining all these shapes. They look really cute together. And this one, maybe we could do this one. This cute banner. On here, um, hmm, maybe some white. I like this one that says wishful thinking on it. This one already has a word on it, so I'm just gonna add like maybe some little hearts. That would be cute, right? Hearts are always cute. They stand out on that white background. Love those hearts. Oh my god, that's so cute. Alright, and here, maybe this one. Never stop dreaming. Oh my god, it's not peeling. Okay. There it goes. Never cut your nails and get a manicure before a live with Prima Show. Reminder. Uh. Wish my wish list. I love that. All right, plastic sleeve. Um, this one. I like this one. And maybe some flowers on this diamond pattern, which I love. Down here. And maybe one up here. It says dream. And on this last one, I kind of want to keep it simple. So I'll put this reach for the stars up here. And then maybe some of these cute flowers. Maybe down here. I like this pink one. All right. So now that you close it up, you have this really pretty combination here like that you have the wishes and dreams side and then you have the wishful thinking side super cute and then um, 
one thing that I wanted to show you guys was that you can actually go in with your chalker. Um, this is a Prima chalker and this is the white one. I think this is my favorite color ever. And then if you don't want like the craft the craft to show, you can go in with your chalker and you can just go in and cover it up with um, the chalker. And it gives it a really nice shabby chic kind of look. Just go in, give it a few swipes on each page. And then you can um, cover that up real quick. I love that. So um, you can use different colors too. We have some new pastels um, that just came out our last CHA. And the new pastels are really, really nice. Um, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to play with them yet, but you should try them out. They're really, really nice colors. Um, there's like a pink, like a mint green, um, but I really love the white. The white is like my favorite. It's just so, so versatile, so useful for so many things. Yeah, if you guys haven't tried the pastels, try them. They're really cool. Yes, it does dry right away. Um, so once it's on, it sets. Um, it doesn't remain... Um, it's quick drying, you know? So it won't smear or anything like that. Right, so now that we have it on all of our pages, just giving it a few swipes. Just wanted to show you guys real quick what I did with the washi tape here on the spine. So, you know, you could either cover this with paper or you can either use the washi tape. And what I did is I took the washi tape and I kind of did like four stripes of the washi tape on here. Um, that way um, you can cover this up and still kind of have that craft look. So I really like the way that looks. It's really nice. So now that we close this, we have our front cover. Okay, we're going to work on that real quick. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a circle, um, circle cutter. I'm going to take this paper here because I really love this chevron pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cut some circles out with this circle cutter thing. Um, five inch circle should be fine. Okay. And then maybe uh, something smaller, maybe three and a half. You know, that might have been too small. I could still use it though. I think I want something maybe four and a half. There's a lot of little measurements on this circle thing. I just don't know. I'm very bad with measuring. All right, and the paper we used is um, from Wishful Thinking, the carpet Martha jam. One? Yes, this is a Martha Stewart cutter. It's a circle cutter, so I just used this to cut the circles. It's actually a very old one, by the way. There's new ones out there. I just like that one for some reason. Okay, um, I'm gonna use these circles for the center here. And then, you know, when I was covering this album, I did have a lot of leftover um, paper pieces. So, you know, I had a few pieces here that were left over from me cutting. And you don't have to waste these papers. Um, you can use them for ATC cards or for journaling and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna use them for is I'm gonna punch out some banners um, for our album here. And I'm using this EK Success Punch. Um, it's actually a banner punch. So easy and so cool. And I really love, love, love this paper and how it punches out all these little banners. So I'm gonna punch a few banners with this um, punch here. And I'm using more of the neutral colors that are on the collection because I wanna make sure that it doesn't take away from the album cover itself. Um, I'm gonna punch out a few of those. Maybe a few of these. Okay, and then 
And then a few of these from this one here. I really love this one. Just a few colors that you like from the collection. That will be fine. And you're going to have some leftover paper when you, um, when you work on this album. You'll have a few sheets of paper left. So you can actually get a lot out of it. You have a lot of pieces to work with. Um, love that. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and start assembling our cover. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your large circle and you want to take some foam adhesive. Surprise! Oh, you guys know how much I love foam adhesive. I use it on everything. And we're going to start adhering this down. I'm going to add a few pieces of this foam. Oops, just enough to get it to stay. Banana tape, now that's new, I haven't heard of that. Does it smell like banana? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these little tabs here. It's a scratch and, and sniff tape. Okay, Sharon. Oh, that's what they call um, foam tape in Brazil? <gasps> I didn't know that. Oh, you knew the pop dots were going to make an appearance. <laughs> you guys know me too well. Okay. I'm going to put that right in the middle of our album here. And then we're gonna take the other one and do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and layer these. Oh no, someone with stomach flu, sorry. Hope that that person feels better. Okay, and I'm going to adhere this down. Yeah, you can always stack the pop dots to make them higher. I mean, this is like, a, I think they're like half an inch tall or something like that. I like the really tall ones because they, they're good for dimension. I use them a lot. Yeah, the glue, the glue arts ones work well too. Hi, Ramel. Okay, and then in the center here, I'm gonna adhere that one like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take, um, let's see here have in my little mess here. Need um, another circle shade. So you can have it here. There and I'm going to take these doilies. Um, I got these really small doilies that I really like. I'm going to put one right in the center there. I really love the way that looks. Now, I do have a, a round um, thing, but I really think this gold one would look so pretty in the middle, so I'm gonna use this gold little frame. Uh, probably need some glue, in. And, and you probably wanna hot glue this, because this is probably gonna take forever to dry if you use the regular glue. So I'm gonna hot glue this on here. I love how the gold looks on that. Doesn't that look awesome? 
And now I'm going to take one of these beautiful new Mercy flowers. Oh, I love these. And I think I want to use the gray one, the middle. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like the gray one. Oh my god, you guys make fun of my gun all the time. It's all nasty, huh? I know. But uh, trust me, my mom bought me a $30 hot glue gun. And it messed up like in a day. So my dollar one works fine. Now with your banners, what you're going to do is you're going to start layering them down here. And you want to start putting them down with some foam adhesive. This one will do. Oops. And um, you don't want to put them all on foam. You just want to put a few on foam because you want to give it that dimension. So you could adhere some on at the bottom here like that. I know I love the frame too. It looks pretty cute, doesn't it? Just kind of um, alternate the patterns here. I'm gonna use different ones from the paper collection. Yeah, a frame photo would look great. Is that a good idea, Sharon? tuck it in. I think I need a flower one. I love the flowers. The flowers are so cute. The Mercy ones, they're just so soft and beautiful. Like the material is just so high quality and this centipede is so pretty. And it comes in these beautiful colors. They're so spring-like. I really like this gray one. It's just really nice. They're so fluffy. Soft. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to put another one in here. Okay, I think that, that looks pretty good. Um, I think that should be enough banners. Maybe one here. Yeah, just one more. Just one more for kicks. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of our gems. And these are the Lisa Gibbons Wishes and Dreams gems. I love these. And look at how pretty they are. I don't know if you guys could see that. But um, they're just so nice and glittery. They're actually faceted gems. And they have glitter inside of them. So they're really, 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 really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere some on. I'm going to add some extra glue just so they stay on a little bit longer. Just a little dab. And you could just go ahead and um, alternate them all over the album. And that looks pretty. How about the brown ones? The brown ones are really cute. That would look really cute, huh? Oh yeah, I love that. I love how everything just coordinates together so well. Can I add a few more on the banners?
Maybe a few more up here. Maybe one on the banners down here. Um, you can never have enough bling, by the way. I always add a lot. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe if I use another brown one up here. Just go ahead and use the whole package. Ah, oh, that seems like something I would totally do. <laughs> you know, I have to save some for my next album. Okay, maybe just one more and that's it. Can I add maybe one oops, down here maybe? Yeah, that's cute, okay. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and work on our spine, okay? And for the spine, we're gonna just use a variety of flowers. Can you show the gem up close? Yeah. So here are the gems, if you guys haven't taken a look at them. They're really, really awesome. Can you guys see those? They look really, really nice and beautiful. See the glitter inside of them? Really, really pretty. And it comes with different sizes too, so those are really great. Okay, now let's work on the spine. Okay. And for the spine, we're gonna go ahead and add a variety of these new flowers from the collection, and then some are just regular flowers. Um, first of all, I really love these Mercy in white. It's the ones that we just picked out, but look at how pretty that looks. Just makes it look so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and start arranging these. I'm gonna go ahead and hear these down. And you can use a variety of flowers, but I really like the flowers that are part of the collection. These Lisa Gibbon ones are really, really pretty. So you just want to start adding some. Down here. Oops. Let me lower the album. Sorry, guys. Let me put it over here this way like that so you guys can see them. Sorry. Okay, um, kind of like this one here. So I love the Mercy, so cute. And then we have these little mini roses from the Wishes and Dreams collection. I'm gonna take some of these, start adding them on. So um, these are the Wishes and Dreams roses, and they're really glittery and pretty, and look how many you get. They're really, really nice. Love those. And then the Mercy ones, just to show you up close the texture of them. Hold on. It's just so soft. They're really, really cute. Aren't they nice? Cute, cute. And then these, these are just smaller little flowers with the, the, the crystal centers. They're so much fun. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys and tell you guys that the quality of these flowers are amazing. I mean, handmade, top-notch material i mean there's nothing better out there nothing and it's just so 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 gorgeous all right so uh i want to just start stacking these up here i'm gonna add some of these roses just tuck them in there Gonna add some of those smaller ones. Gonna take some of these bel canto flowers. 
love these too. These are some of my favorite ones. I always use them. Are these cute? Gonna go ahead and add that there. Oops, got a little string of glue. Oh, I love this polka dot one. Look at this one. Isn't this cute? Love that pattern. Gonna add that on. And these have little, little crystals on them, so they're just wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm going to take some of these um, interlude flowers. These are some roses that I really like. So gorgeous. And they come in different sizes too, so they're really, really nice to work with. Gonna add a few of those. Just go very, very well together. Then add another one of these little Mercy flowers. I can't see it. Okay, we're going to move on to the bottom here. Going to add some more of these beautiful flowers. show you guys the bottom here. I'm gonna add this one here. Just kind of arrange them there. And I love how the small roses really, really fit. Really well on the spine. You can get, you know, it's funny because you can actually go in and um, use your older flowers that you have that maybe you have one or two left and then just coordinate them together. You know, you don't have to um, have a whole pack. You know, if you can see, I'm only using like a few of them for, um, of each. So you can have a, a good mix of flowers. And I'm going to use this one here. I'm gonna put that one right there. And then I think I wanna use some more of these roses. Yeah, the Prima ones are forever. Sounds like a diamond commercial. some here and then maybe another one of these down here um I think I like this stripey one here with the stripes like that I'm going to go ahead and add it up here. Love, love, love these roses. I'm going to go ahead and add another one here just to kind of 
balance this out. Sorry for all the glue strings. I'm trying to remove all those. And let me see. Can I fit one in the corner? Maybe. Let's try. Yeah, I think I can fit one in there. Tuck one in. Right here. All right, doesn't that look fantabulous? And now we have these um, these other flowers. These are called um, Capriole. And I really, really love these. These are actually just a really nice quality flower. Um, just really, really pretty. I really love these. But we're gonna actually use these here from the whole package so you can save these or you know, put them inside your album. They're kind of flat, so they'll be good for the inside pages. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these here, these little flowers, and I'm gonna tuck them in into the little nooks and crannies of the flowers that we have going on here. So see how perfect they just tuck in there? Oops. You just go in and tuck them in, and then they'll show out like that. So you just add a little bit of glue. like that. I'm going to take a few of these. Just add them to the little spaces. Just kind of work with them. Okay, I think I want another one over here on this side. I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Looks nice. Maybe some up here on this side. Like that. I think we have one more. So maybe you can put one up here like that. like that. Doesn't that look amazing guys? Love, love, love that. All right. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go inside and just add a little bit more of embellishments. Just clean up here a little bit. And these flowers on the spine are great. Like, like I said, if you put them together, like let's say you take two of these albums and then you have one for March and then one for April. Look at how beautiful those look together. Oh, they look awesome. And you can stack these up, you can put them in a shelf. Just, you know, they're just gorgeous together. Um, but just kind of wanted to show you on the inside of this one um, all these tabs that you can do so let me show you real quick what those are so these are from this paper and this one's called sweet dreams and this one is carpe diem so it comes with all these little tabs so you can adhere down so let me just cut a few out so I can show you guys how easy it is. I'm just going to cut this out. And then you can save the rest for um, for later. You can use it for your mini albums or you can put it in the pockets. Anything like that. And then just kind of fuzzy cut it. these out. Okay. 
Let me just really quickly. Okay, just really easy. They're perfect for fuzzy cutting and perfect for tabs on your albums. I'm using Wishes and Dreams Collection by Lisa Gibbons. So once you have a few cut out, you could go back in your album and then you can use them as tabs. So what I would do is I would adhere them down here, just like that. So just get a little strip of glue. And then you could just adhere them right on the bottom on the edge here. And then you can just go ahead and alternate them um, throughout the pages. Just like that. They're really, really nice. Um, it's a nice size and a nice accent. There's a lot of different ones that you could use. There's some round ones. There's even some blank ones. Like if you want to add your own saying, like if you don't want to use the ones that come pre-printed, you could use um, those blank ones and add your own word or your own little saying in there. So those are perfect. I'm gonna add this one down here. Right, and then maybe we can get, um, let me see here. Um, no, I think I wanna use these. Gonna use some of the purple ones now. I think I want to use some of these. And after this, we're almost done, okay guys? Just kind of want to show you real quick. Just gonna go ahead and cut a few of these out. And these are really easy to fuzzy cut, not hard at all. Just cutting a few out. Love these um, bolder colors as well. Okay, gonna add another strip of glue down at the bottom here. be in any particular order by the way as you can see I like to kind of keep them random uh, I'm gonna add one more here All right and that's how it looks with the tabs so I mean like I said there's so much versatility with this album so much you can do um, just looks great I mean doesn't that look awesome so you can do so much with it. And then you have your cover, which is amazing. And then your spine. Love, love, love how the spine looks. Okay. Um, so that's the project for today. I'm so glad you guys joined me. Um, this is the one we made, the Waterfall album using Lisa Gibbons collection, Wishes and Dreams and Wishful Thinking. This is the one we made. This is the original project. 
Oh my god, I can't believe we got to finish this. So, two, you know, amazing album. You could give it your own twist. Just really, really cool to make. All the tabs, waterfall pages, inserts with the um, photos. You could put your own photos in there and then you can have your own pockets or use the pockets that are included in there. And use the washi tape, you know, to cover up some of the craft and give it a, you know, fun look. Very um, cool and um, modern look. So just a few announcements I wanted to um, tell you guys about. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Lisa Gibbons will be doing a Live with Prima show um, this Thursday. Okay, so at the same time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, she's going to be showing her entire collection. So I just showed you a little glimpse of what it is and, um, you know, how fun it is to work with and how amazing some of her products are. Um, but she's going to be showing you everything. She's going to be showing you the papers, the flowers, the embellishments, the pocket pad, all that good stuff that she came up with. Um, she's going to be showing you all that. So make sure you guys um, catch um, Lisa Gibbons um, on Thursday. And then also wanted to kind of mention that if you guys haven't checked out our Facebook page, we have um, March Mixed Media Madness going on right now. So March is going to be all about mixed media, you know, all the canvas resist um, shapes that we have, canvas albums, all that good stuff that Prima is known for with the mixed media stuff. We're going to be showcasing it um, all month long on the blog, on Live with Prima. So, you know, make sure you guys catch that, okay? Um, and do you guys have any questions at all for me? Well, thank you guys. Yeah, make sure to follow our blog, follow our Facebook, um, sign up for our newsletter. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of tips, techniques, you know, a lot of fun stuff with the mixed media stuff. So, you know, make sure you guys join us. Yay, Karen. Awesome. Does anybody have any more questions before we go? Congrats, Goldie Fish. You're the winner for today. Yay. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. Congrats, Goldie. Yay, thank you, guys. All right, well, we're going to go. And if you guys, um, like I said, remember to join us on Thursday. And then we'll, we'll see you then. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.